So let's talk about how to grow long, healthy nails. Hi, my name is Terry, and I do nail and nail art content on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button if this video is helpful to you. I'm going to be talking about the steps you need to avoid and the steps you need to take to grow long, healthy nails. So let's start off with what you need to stop doing if you want long nails. So first, you need to stop biting your nails. And if you know anything about me is I was a nail biter. I still am. I'm a recovering nail biter. Um, but what helps me a lot is nail polish. So that's why I started doing my nails. So I have a whole video on how to stop biting your nails if you're interested in that. But biting your nails is just detrimental to, is detrimental to your nail growth journey. And if you're biting your nails, you're never gonna have long nails. Check out that video for my tips on how to stop biting your nails. What goes along with biting your nails is picking at your cuticles or your hang nails or anything like that. You need to stop doing that because that's preventing nail growth. Another thing you need to avoid is acrylic nails and improper gel removal. So this one's a little controversial, but what I don't like about acrylic nails is that it's so hard it provides no flexibility for your natural nails and it's just they're very easy to break if you um hit them or bump them on something and with um gel with gel removal or any nail enhancement removal if you don't remove them properly you're damaging your natural nail you're literally pulling um layers from your natural nail off and your nails will become very thin and weak and fragile. They're gonna constantly break, they're gonna hurt. It's just not good. So you really need to remove really anything that's on your nails, even if it's regular nail polish. You don't wanna be peeling it off. You don't wanna peel off gel or acrylics or the little gel X or press-ons. You don't wanna rip those off your nails. It's just terrible for you and it's gonna prevent you from having long, beautiful, healthy nails. The next thing you need to avoid are nail strengtheners. I know what you're thinking, Terry, nail strengtheners are hardening your nails, but that's the reason why you don't wanna use them. So nail strengtheners are really only for short-term use and they're for people who have very damaged nails from say acrylics or gels or whatever. Um, that have like very weak thin nails they're to help rebuild the protein structure or the keratin structure in your nail however if you use them for too long your nails are going to be so strong that they're just going to snap as soon as you bump your nail on something they're going to snap you don't want your nails to be super hard you want your nails to be flexible when your nails are flexible when you hit them on something they're going to bend they're going to flex and they're not just going to snap and be brittle you don't want that. So avoid the nail strengtheners. Instead, get you some cuticle oil, but we'll talk about that later. So now I'm gonna shift into things you need to do to grow long, healthy nails. Nail growth is not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in three days. Um, it's not gonna happen in a week. Like long, growing long nails is a whole process that takes several weeks. But what you need to do is develop a good nail routine. So you need to, um, be creating like a weekly routine for yourself. If you wear like regular nail, regular nail polish or you do your nail polish at home, you should have a good weekly routine where you're pushing back your cuticles, you're filing your nails, you're removing any hang nails, you're, um, you're filing them properly. I have a video showing you my nail routine. Be sure to watch that so you can develop your own routine and know what supplies you need to have a good nail routine at home. Um, another thing, if you wanna grow long nails, the shape of your nails is very important. If you wanna grow long nails, I would suggest to do a round or an almond shape. So square nails are very difficult to grow long. Some people can do it, but not everyone can. So for me, when I had my, when my nails were the longest, they were in a round shape. So what happens is a lot of times with square nails, the corners tend to break. If you hit them on something, they, they break off. So round shapes and almond shapes are really good if you want long natural nails. The next thing you need to do consistently is to moisturize your nails. So nail silks once a week are really good if you wanna soak your nails in some olive oil, some jojoba oil. Uh, um, those are really good oils. My favorite cuticle oil is by 
shop um, nbm.com and they're called cuticle buddies they have so many different scents this is a halloween scent um but there's so many different scents they're natural oils with natural fragrances they're roller balls they're beautiful they have these like nice little designs inside and a hook so you can literally hook them to your purse your book bag um anywhere you want to so you need to be moisturizing your cuticles two to three times a day at at least every time you wash your hands you really need to be applying cuticle oil to your nails rubbing it in get you a good nail cream and nail lotion to make sure your nails and your cuticles are always moisturized um, and that's going to really contribute to healthy beautiful nails the next thing is you want to protect your nails at all times so when you're cleaning you're washing dishes you're using any kind of harsh chemicals you need to be covering your hands with gloves you need to be using gloves to protect your nails from drying out because those chemicals in the dish soaps they're really strong and they're really drying to your nails they make your nails very dry and very weak um and you're going to have to use extra moisture so just protect your nails by covering them with some gloves while you're cleaning also if you live in a cold environment i live in florida so i don't really have to worry about this but if you live in a place where it snows and it's very cold you need to be wearing gloves when you're going outside and you're doing things to protect your nails from um getting too cold like you need to be wearing uh gloves or mittens when you go out if you live in a cold environment um, the last thing to protect your nails, don't use your nails as tools. You should not be opening a cardboard box with your nails. You should not be opening a can with your nails. Use the balls of your fingers. Use your fingers for that. You don't use your nails as tools. Nail growth is genetic, ultimately, but there are things we can do that I've listed that can help you if you maybe didn't get the long nail gene. <laughs> but still anyone can grow long nails if you follow the steps that I've listed um, today. And lastly, I definitely need to say you need to drink, you need to eat a balanced diet. So you need to be eating your vegetables, eating your fruits, all different colors. So it's gonna get you all the different nutrients and vitamins you need. Um, and it all starts inside, as well as drinking a lot of water. Um, drinking lots of water, eating a balanced diet are very important to nail growth as well. Um, eating a multivitamin or a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. Um, I suggest a multivitamin. Um, it's just it's gonna work the same as a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. Um, hair, skin, and nail just usually has more biotin, but it just has excessive amounts. So just get you a good multivitamin to take every day so you make sure you're getting all the vitamins you need in your diet. So in this video I showed you the steps you need to stop doing and the steps you need to start doing to grow long healthy nails. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to leave all the details in the description box along as where you can purchase some cuticle oil and some cuticle cream. Highly recommend that to keep your nails moisturized and thriving. You don't want long, weak nails. You want long, healthy, strong nails. Um, and these tips that I showed you today are going to help you do that. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section. Be sure to check out my video on how to stop biting your nails. And subscribe to your cha this channel if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.